Get out and welcome to the Mac Back Podcast. Hey, my name is Jamie Kidder, and to my left this week in order of the man on the panel with the best Uber rating. It's my little brother Joe. How are you, Joe boy? Yes, Jake. I've got the best Uber rating here, two point five. That's my right coming. <laughs> two point five. Let's go. That's my right coming here, six one as he does each and every week. It's the baby brother of the back. Who we call Ginger Bush? Where are you? I'm rating fives and I'm getting fives. It's a good exchange that I've got going with my fellow drivers. We love to hear it. We got a bit of an Uber story off the top. Yes. I'm hearing. It's also hottest 100 this weekend. So Joe's going to put on his little Molly Meldrum music hat and give us a little bit of a lowdown as to what we should expect of the weekend. Whoa! We got a Subway story. Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> And we've got a brand new game that we've never played before with one of the greatest songs that we've ever recorded. You better believe it. It's a massive app, so let's get into it. Boys, boys, boys! Brother Bingo! Bingo. <laughs> How are we all? Are we all well? Yes! Good. We're well, going good. Welcome back to the fucking podcast. Molly Meldrum's hat. Molly Meldrum's hat. Uber ratings. There. How's your Uber rating, honestly? My Uber rating is like 4.75. Is that, is that good? No. It was until <laughs> I gave you boys a couple of lifts. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's shit. I didn't realise how bad it was until I, I must have been listening to a podcast where I heard communications and people were like, oh yeah, mine's real bad. Hey, it's like 4.92. And I was like, that <laughs> seems like real good. Mine. And then I jumped on and mine was like 4.4. For a long time. See, I'm... Um, you I'm really call me, though. Yeah. <laughs> and I think... It went down once. It wasn't anything that I'd done it wrong. Any, I'm yeah. just quite... I just don't like to chat. But you shouldn't get negatives no, for that. You definitely have done... You would have done stuff. I told, I've told the story... The story about you got in the fight, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> full on. That wasn't Uber. That was that Diddy. Was zero stuff. That was Diddy. That was fucked. That's still one of the most bizarre... Oh, do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah. I've had rides, like, w- with my mates. And then, like... Yeah, like it's gone down. Mm. I'm not surviving this <laughs> car trip. <laughs> yeah. ain't gonna pull it yeah, That's I, why I don't like to call them. I'm yeah. It's not a money thing. I've also I, I must say since that story, that was pro- that was a pretty heavy drinking period for mine. Like I don't drink like that anymore. I haven't drunk to the point of vomiting in ages. Yeah, sure. Right. Right. <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's true. Street X golf day. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah Street, Street X golf, golf day. day. So what's that? September. Yeah. That's ages. Yeah. Yeah. It's like four yeah, months, five months. was a month ago. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. I think I've actually done since then. It was when I had that, um, I went to the old synagogue wine tasting. Did ya? Yeah. Tak Yak or? I, yeah. Like, yes, the day after I was so, I, I was so fucked. It's because. Did you vomit the day after? And the night, yeah. Right. I never you, were were you with after. Jared? When yeah, you that's fucking why, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? So uh, now I vomited in front of him when we were at Street X or he. No, not in that. front of him. And now Joe's vomited. Mm, I'm next. It's because, We're a good look, aren't we? <laughs> it's because, and not to throw him under the bus or whatever, but it's because we did the wine tasting. Which is no one's ever said that and then not push someone under the bus. So we just did, prepare yourself for we this. We did the wine tasting. Tried some lovely wines, right? Yeah. And then we're like hanging out there afterwards because, you know, it was a fair crowd that we got down there. And then people, he was like, he was like I'll get a whole bottle, you know, whatever. I was like, fucking sick. And then I like got, got a couple of glasses as well. And then we went to another place. We kicked on from the oh, night tasting. Oh, this is a Wednesday night as well. It was a Wednesday night. We had more wine. We had cocktails or whatever. Yes. You know, I don't party for a living. I'm not ready to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. You almost do. <laughs> um, but, boys, I've got, a, I've got an issue with okay. my Ubers recently. My rating's always fine because I always only order the Uber if I'm by myself or I'm coming home after a night out. It's usually just me and Moz coming home. So it's always a low-key one. Yep. And I love a love a front seat ride right next to the driver, and I love oh, a yarn. Yeah, but by myself, worse. I was in the front. No, and no, I still sit in the back. Maybe that's what my rating is. Yeah, because so you think you are. I get in the boot. <laughs> I <laughs> put up the boot. The day you fucking talk to me. I um, don't even look at me. Yeah, well, this is my routine. Right? I often get an Uber to the pre's or like to the yeah. bar that we're going. Have you got hand on leg? <laughs> no, no, no. But they're often going hand on my leg. <laughs> but um, this is how I do it. Right, swing the do- swing the door open, and I've always got a drink in my hand. Unopened. And I say, is it cool if I drink this in the car? Nine times out of ten, they say yes. Tick, you're, on, you're in the good books here. You're going toward a five-star five, five star rating, right? Then, get in the car. And I say, you know, classic, like, what's going on? You know, how's the day been? Is, it, is this the start or is this the end? What's going on, you know? And then we have a little chat. And um, I was chatting, I got this one really cool guy 
on Friday, swung the door open, and I was like, is it cool if I drink this? It was a three standard sour beer. Oh, no. Cooked, no, no. right? One of the ones you got me. And then he was like, yeah, brother, of course. And then I was like, fucking oath. And then got in the car. I was like, mate, so how long are you driving for tonight? He's like, yeah, I'm going to stop at 5 a.m. And it was like 7 p.m. The time that he picked me up, right? Yeah. So I was like, Whoa, my boy's going in for a shift, right? Yeah. Then, um, yeah, then we start driving. And I'm like, you know, I was like, so are you going to full drive for that whole time? Are you going to like take a break? He was like, yeah, I'm going to stop off at Brass Monkey in the city and have a few Guinnesses. <laughs> And I was like, freaking what? I was like, love, love your yeah, work, Glad bro. I got you before the drinks. I was like, your boy's out or whatever. And he's like a 60-year-old man. I was like, your boy's out? And he was like, nah, nah, just, just going to chill, have a drink. And then I start driving. He's going to lone drink at the Brass Monkey over a few Guinnesses while he's at work. I think just one, maybe two, if he's feeling saucy. Right? <laughs> anyway, so we start talking. What a weird thing to do. Is that a weird thing? To- yeah, going to the Brass Monkey is weird. <laughs> <laughs> we start yarning. and I'm like, I always like asking um. You know, is this your only? Like, is this is this your full time job and stuff? And uh, he he hit me with the yes, it's his full time job. I was like, cool. And then we start talking about his car and like all the oh yeah, all the little yeah, itty bitties yeah. of driving Uber. Yeah. And then I was like, um, well, what did you do before you drove Uber? And he was like, um, he used to be a lab tech or something. And this was in when he was thirty eight when he first came to Australia. He's from um, I've forgotten the name. It's like it's in Africa. It starts with an L. I want to say. The th- Lithuania, Libya, Libya is a country, yeah, something like that. And um, and then he started telling me his life story, and I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, what about? Because we just sat there for like a couple of minutes in just silence, and I was like, yeah, you got a missus or anything, mate? <laughs> just trying to start up the chats again because we we're having a good ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. lulled for a few, and I was like, let's kick it up. Let's you kick it into birds? force. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah, you sussing any or what? And he was like, um, yeah, yeah, I got the wife, and I was like, oh yeah, I was like, what does she do? She was like, oh, she's still back in Libya. Oh, um, I was like, "Oh, cool! When did you marry her?" And he was like, three years ago." Okay. And the wedding oh. day was the last time I saw her. Wow, oh. uh-huh. easy, easy marriage. <laughs> and then I was like, well, "There's got to be a story behind this." He was like, "Obviously, the pandemic couldn't get back over there." I was like, "So you married? You've got married to this chick, and you haven't seen her since that day?" And he's like, "No." Nah. And I was like, "Fuck, that's tough. Like, that's a long time—three <laughs> years to get married and then not see someone." Are you f- faithful? <laughs> I think, yeah, that's what it sounded like, right? And, and he's I, 60, did you say? Yeah, right? So I was like, getting, I was like, that's pretty late. I was like, what about before? You you know, you get on the horse before this bird? Get on the and horse. And he was like, he was like, yeah. <laughs> so many animals. Mate. Before that, I had a wife for 12 years, right? Yeah. And um, that woman, the way they broke up was that they got married. Then the war broke out in Libya, which was a massive civil war. Then... <laughs> His street was getting bombed, like crazy, like bombed. Yeah, yeah. And he said it was every man for himself. Like, don't worry about it. Like, literally, you just had to go. Right, yeah, yeah. And he just got split up from this woman for 12 years. And Wait, obviously, he was just like, there's no way of contacting her. And the war just kept going and going. And he was in refugee camps and stuff. No way of contacting her. Oh, he so had they no got idea married, where she and was. And then this happened straight away, not after 12 years. Yeah, this is the first bird. Mm-hmm. And so then 12 like, years of this went on where he couldn't find her. Right? But you said that they got married 12 years ago. Yes. Oh, and then within the same year, this all happened. No, so they got married, and then this whole f- war-torn stuff happens over 12 years. Okay. All right? So, they so he's when only did spent the bombing happen? I don't fucking know when the... Okay, but Libyan had they been married for 12 How long had they been married when you got me missing? <laughs> One. <laughs> I said that at the start. No, you didn't. I said a similar thing happened because he got married to this girl and they got split up for twelve years, right? Okay, yeah. okay. We were both confused, so <laughs> right. we were probably. Well, I know too. all my smart listeners are still keeping track. <laughs> Sorry for my silly co-hosts, everybody. All right, so they get married, they get that. bombed. One. <laughs> <laughs> they get married, they get bombed, they get split up over twelve years, and his whole mentality the whole time is like just trying to find my girl. That's all he wants to do. Yeah. Just find his family, find yeah. his girl, and you know, go back, go back to the way he was living before the war. Twelve years go by, over a decade, and he finally finds her, and they talk. And she's moved on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stitch up for this one. And right? was, this, was this like ages ago? Yeah, like yeah, before internet and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And then he said, and then and then Don't after get this, into the timelines, Joe. It's murky yeah. out here. He had a very, very, very strong accent, so I was barely <laughs> keeping track. But then. After this, right? I was like, holy shit. And then he's like, yeah. And then I tried to flee the country, come to Australia. Okay. And I was like, oh, cool. I was like, where'd you, meet this, where'd you meet this new girl that you just got married to? And he was like, in the refugee camp. I was like, oh, cool. So then he came to Australia, then went back there because she 
couldn't get over. So he went back there to get married and come all the way back because he's now verified to go into both countries. Yeah. And then hasn't seen her since. I was like, this guy's had the most rough fucking life. Yeah. Like, this guy just gets, gets girls yeah. and then just never sees them. Yeah. like, I don't he's know what's going on. Right? And this whole time, I was, we were both hitting each other with like one liners talking yeah. about the whole thing. And then he was telling me, um, there's a Brad Pitt movie about a war. World War Z. <laughs> no, there's another one. It's like called <laughs> Blood Diamond. That is a movie. I don't yeah. think Brad Pitt's in it. I don't know. Well, he said the Pit Man was in it, but he said, or Leo, I don't know, someone. <laughs> but he <laughs> said, <laughs> he said he Blood know. Diamond was based on the war in his country. Oh, okay, yeah. And I was like, holy shit, right? And we were just like laughing the whole time. And I, we were actually like dying. At one point, though, like, because I was just he's like, seen the funny stuff. I was, yeah, he was laughing about it. He was, and he was like, because oh, I was just like, that's fucked, cunt. And he was like dying laughing. Yeah. And it, he legit, at multiple times, he was, like, crying and, like, hitting me on the arm, like, oh, my God. Like, we're, like it felt like it was, you like, the best car ride. I legit was, like, I might not... I was going to meet my uni friends. I was, like... We could... We actually, could actually fuck, fuck him up. <laughs> I'll go in the Let's back Let's get seat. us to sound good, bro. Let's do get us to sound yeah, good. And he was legit, like, hitting me on the arm, like, laughing and shit. And I got out of the car. And I was, like, thank you very much, brother. I, like, shook his hand. And I was, like, fucking best of luck with everything. Like, seriously. Just yeah. One, one star. Yeah, right? And then Too I got out of the car. But then I, because I've had, this is like one good interaction I've had, right? But I have not very similar, but similar interactions with these Uber drivers. And it's becoming a very, very expensive hobby. Because how can I get out of the car with someone who's told me he had that much of a crazy you life story and not tip him? Right? Oh. Yeah. It's becoming a very, very expensive hobby chatting to these Uber drivers. I might be sitting in the back soon, Jake, because I can't afford it. Every yeah, tip, that's fair enough. <laughs> every ride is taking taking a bit more cash from me because I'm just growing. Just don't tip him. You're paying him to take you there. You don't yeah, have to tip him. The, li- listen to his story. I don't want to be the kind of guy that gives him four stars. And See, I'm so answer. against the whole tipping. Yeah, I used to tip across the board. I, if I was ex- I've, I was going to expense to my work card. Oh, this I get him with a tip. Oh, this bloke. Although I I used to get obviously the Uber drivers love a chat. I used to get Ubers you know to and from work sometimes if I needed to, and they'd always ask me. What do you do? And yeah. I'd tell them, you know, I work in... This is when I was at, like, the accounting firm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then every single Uber driver... Because it's like, oh, you're like, working in, like, finance. And they're like, tell me about which cryptos to invest in. This is, like, every Uber conversation. Oh, like, real? For so long. They're just telling me about these, like, cryptos. And they love have... it. They love a crypto. <laughs> <laughs> they live a side hustle. You should have tipped them in crypto, man. They would have fucking... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> now nah, I'm not about the whole tipping. Mm, I am. It's I've been to a few expensive. restaurants recently. In Sydney, it's big. They tip at restaurants. Yeah. And it's on like, right. they hand you this big iPad and they're like, oh, there you go. And the funniest part was like, you put in your card and shit, right? So yeah. they bring it over and you basically just check the meal on the iPad mm-hmm. and then they go, okay, well, if that is that everything? And I'm like, yep. And they go, okay, well, you just have a look at that. And if that's everything, um, then just confirm and then just put in as much of a tip as you want. Zero. Mm-hmm. And then it comes up and it's got preset like tipping amounts and they're high. Yeah, and you have to it, the the it'll be on like the default one. It'll be like ten dollars or whatever. And yeah, you have to click no. Yeah, it ta- I think it, I think it was about thirty percent was the top one. Yeah, I think that's what like, they're doing. You America. can do thirty percent, twenty five percent, or twenty percent. And I was like, they all seem exorbitantly high. Yeah, and so I just went with the none and then <laughs> handed them at the thing. I was like, well, we're not doing. We're in Australia. We don't tip in Australia. Yeah. Like our wages are made to cover it. Yeah, yeah, and Shin Cindy is so expensive anyway. Yeah, it was just odd. I'm not. I'm not here for it, and I'm definitely not here for it for Uber. I you like tip your Uber Eats guy, mate. The food's cold when it comes, and he's had a I chip. Don't tip my Uber you either Eats have a chip though. or you get a tip. You can't have both. <laughs> That's my rule. Do you guys do yeah, much yeah. Uber Eats? Never. It's so expensive. Yeah, I know about it. Know about it. Because no one's given tips, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the issue. Because it's like there's the delivery fee and stuff, but then the prices of the food is just more. Expensive. Yeah, the price of the food is way more expensive. Because mm-hmm. I remember once I was like, I saw I was like, oh, it's like, um, it's like a little bit extra, <laughs> and then it's like, oh, to get the delivery or whatever, and you might have your little free delivery thing. I'm like, oh sweet, I'll get what I usually get, and then you're like paying, and you're like, Wait, what the this hell is happened? More expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't tip. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> All right, Joe, Triple J day tomorrow, mate. This is usually your one word. This is the time where you get to finally discuss a few tunes, discuss a bit of music. It's often sports stuff that I bring to the table. You're the music man. I've got to say. You're the Molly Meldrum. (laughs) Hit us with it. Um, I'm the Molly Meldrum, but I won't be getting the odd 
Let me go and cock out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that is rare. Fuck. That is a reference that I don't know if many people will get and it will not age very well. But <laughs> speaking of things, things, things aging. See, well, just quickly, I don't think well, he's doing I think that well. since he fell off the ladder, <laughs> it's like he's, he sort of <laughs> he fell off the wagon as dive, well. Because yeah. <laughs> people used to love him. I think he's fucking good value. But like, he's he not also well, did but another. He did that thing where he like. I don't know, he got off at something else and he jumped over the gold logo during that bloke's chat. Cock Sam, out again or what? Sam, someone I forget his name. He was like a big, he's a big Australian art like actor yeah. type guy who played Molly in yes. like the documentary or something. And he won the gold logo, which in Australia is very prestigious, which I find hard to believe. Um, I thought Molly Meldrum and then was Molly, a woman before he got his cock out. Molly, <laughs> Molly crashed the chat and sort of made it about yeah, himself, about and him, he was yeah. absolutely. Pollock's that would man. be like if Austin Butler won the Oscar for Elvis and Elvis came out from beyond the grave. <laughs> yeah, and absolutely he's like, he was yeah, hammered yeah. though. But you've got to listen to that. If, yeah. you if you've got time today, go run that up. That shit's fucked. Um, but Triple J. Yes, the big hottest 100. And I have to say, this year I don't know a lot of the a lot of the popular songs. Yeah, right. I think I think it's finally happening. Because you won last year. You picked it. You picked the Wiggles last year. Trevor? Yeah, yeah, classic. But I think now it's like, there are two things. I feel like I'm a bit, well, obviously Spotify and stuff. People are mainly listening to that. I mainly yep. listen to Spotify. Another thing is, I've been on a bit of a detox from TikTok. So I don't oh. have TikTok on my phone anymore. There you so go. I'm not getting these 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 TikTok songs. Okay. The popular mm. hits. Running Up That Hill, Kate Bush. Never heard it. Have you? <laughs> no, I have. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, there are ones like that, even that Steve Lacey Bad Habits song. Yep. That's a bang. I have no idea how it goes. Really? I, I don't know what it is. Nah. That I'm not good. going to contend, I reckon. I'm not, sh- I'm not good with the names of songs. Yeah. Triple J Day is often a day where I'm like, oh, yeah, I've heard this. This yeah, is good. Sorry, this yeah, is yeah. good. But I, if you gave me all of the hundred in text form, I wouldn't be able to tell you any of them. So, no yeah, I've got the ones I want to win, though. Oh, We've okay. got Flume. Yep. I don't think he's ever won it. I think he's a cool guy. I think he's very funny on Instagram as well. I saw him in concert earlier this year. You did, yes. He was sick. I've seen him a couple of times. He's dope. That's good. I like his more experimental stuff where it sounds like he's hitting pots and pans. What's he winning with? Or you just got the say whole... N- no, Say Nothing. The Say Nothing. Say Nothing. Oh, yeah. yeah that yeah, won't, That surely won't win. I haven't heard it. I oh, I've the, heard it. I think it's the favorite. Is it? I think so, yeah. All right, yeah, keep going. I'm going to uh, check that. If that's true. Other one. That's concerning. Baddest of them all. Yeah, I reckon that's a hot chance. I, that's not there. Right? And then the Gang of Youth, In the Wake of Your Leave. That's a banger. Yeah, I'm big on those two. Um, we saw that live. Yeah, that was they're, elite. They've also you know done well but never won. And yeah. they, Gang of Youth, like we'd seen it. It, it was the... It was a great gig. Yeah. Arguably the best gig. I saw Sam twice, but I reckon Gang of Youth was up there. Yeah. So I, I do have a bit of a controversial thing to say. Well, it's not really controversial, but... Sometimes I feel like the song that wins can be a bit too basic. Yeah. Because a lot of times... Yeah, you're right. It is favourite. Say nothing. A lot of times, um, say like Tame Impala, for example. Yeah. He'll have a bunch that are high, but they no. split the votes. Yeah. So he doesn't win. And then you've got like Hoops, you know, like Ruben. The Rubens. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's fine. But I feel like that's just like, that was their one good song. Get a lot of votes. Yeah. And that's it, yeah. yeah. It's never like actually the best song. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the most played. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm big on The Wake of oh, Isn't that was the song that we put on like our recap of the year, which I really enjoyed? In The Wake of Your Elite? Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. That's that really good. Um, and Bad as them all, they played, I vividly remember, I obviously have heard that song throughout the year. I vividly remember when we pulled up to seasons the night before our first seasons and we were like yeah. setting up and they were doing sound check and that song was going off and I was like, ah, oh, this is pretty cool. Even that song. I was surprised to learn it came out this year. It just has that like classic. It sounds like it's been around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't know about it. It's immediately familiar. My pick. Yeah, I've got to go with my boy Sench. Sench will see Doja Cat. Doja can't go wrong, boys. What song? What's Somebody the song? tell Doja Cat. What's the How's song? It go? Uh, do- it's just. I'm not going to wrap the entire thing, but it, it's Central C's Doja. You would have heard it before. It's a very, very large song. Okay, and I've it. seen it live as well. Fred again. Um, got mentioned a few times on the poll that we yeah, shared. Fred again. I don't know. Fred again is like, what's that other guy who just came out of nowhere on TikTok, but everyone knew who he was. Um, he did like Beyonce's song. Fabulous. Shambulous. What is it called? 
Oh, you mean Jack Harlow? Jack Harlow. I'd never, <laughs> I'd never heard of Jack Harlow. I had never heard of Jack Harlow ever in my life. Okay, right. Was that a good get? Me guessing Jack yeah, Harlow from that. Really that yeah. Shambulous. <laughs> um, Fergalicious, yeah. Fergalicious. That's, that's Fergie, the one. not Beyonce. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, and the same with this Freddie again. The only, last time, I I still don't know much about Freddie again. I thought he was the bloke. You remember on the old YouTube videos, the bloke called Fred? <laughs> Fred again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, Fred's back. And he's just going with Fred again. Fred the Return. No, it's just yeah, Fred so again. Fred again Different is, dude. is like, un- people who are like... What is it? Just quick, what's that Fred guy up to these days? Fred. Oh, he's like a millionaire. I think is he? Just he? Does nothing. Yeah, yeah. Does he still do weird no, no, no. TikToks? No, or videos? So. What he, um, he got good money. And then he also had that movie deal. They made like the Fred movie. I think he got paid a shitload for that. Do yeah. you know what Fred is? Yeah, yeah he just stopped. Yeah. I think he just stopped. Yeah. The dream. One That's just like, stopped. People wonder. There's like videos about their like. Where is he? What's he doing? Because he never made like a DJ. He's chilling. Yeah. DJ. Now, That's like even like, posted for the. I saw time. a video with, and I don't know if you guys watch these like YouTube. Did you know Smosh? No. Nah. No. Nah. They did. They used to do like uh, skit videos basically on on the internet, yeah. and they were like massive. And then they just sort of stopped as well. And I saw a, an interview with him, and he was interviewing like another old YouTuber from back in the day. It's like these guys just like got in at the peak. Were massive in like. For like teenagers or tweens yeah. or whatever. Yeah. For like a couple of years. And they just capitalize it, just fucking they're yeah, done. They're yeah, there we, we got go. in a bit late. <laughs> 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 there you go. What were you gonna go with with the Fred again stuff? Sorry. Uh, oh yeah, so he's like um like drum bass, EDM type stuff. Oh yeah. He's meant to be pretty good. He had I think he put out like two or three mixtapes or albums <laughs> that got pretty like in a pretty quick space of time. And yeah, people people really, people really like his stuff. I think he's going to the laneway. Okay, there you, you go. Get Fred again there. Nice. Yeah. That's exciting. Well, yeah. Oh, actually, another song. A Joji Glimpse of Us. I feel like if that came oh, yeah. out if that came out later in the year, I think it would have done very well. But jo- it's a bit old. Joji Glimpse of Us. Glimpse of Us is like... Oh, yeah. That was paying $31, so fair, fair value. Yeah. It's a bit sad also to win, you know? Yeah, that's like coming on last. Yeah. Because that's also what happens. Like People who are voting, they want to have a good day, so it's going to be a pick-me-up song, which I think... I that's why I think that's say nothing. I think it's a bit too slow. If you if you chuck Big Botter on, or if you chuck In Your Wake of Your Leave on, like they're they're bringing a fair bit of fucking energy. They're there's, packing a punch. There's also do you guys listen to much uh, King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard? No. So I'm gonna let you guess if I listen to that. Too. So they they put out there's like tons of dudes in the band, and they put out like a couple albums every year. So it's very hard to like stay on top of them, and they also do like. This one will be hardcore metal. This one will be indie folk. This one will be psychedelic. This one they're using guitars that aren't tuned properly. So they're just picking up all the dart, all the all the little dartboard yeah. areas, and just throwing the darts at the dartboard at the same time, see. and going, like, well, I can, "We'll just see where we're going." They put out a really good song this year. It's called <laughs> "The Drifting Tap," and it goes for eighteen minutes. That's not winning. <laughs> a hot take. But if it can, you, I, I would love for it to just get played at some point, and people just go, "Fuck, oh, it's been on for a while." <laughs> yeah. yeah, literally. Can't. Yes, but yeah, we'll see. So, so if you have to pick, are, are we both going Boda? Uh, I think Boda will win. If I had to put money on, I'd go Boda. My heart wants Skanky Years. Okay, I'll go Flume to not go the same. Okay, and what are you locking in? Thousand Miles, Kid Leroy. Okay, nice. banger again. I, I don't know. I'm so out of my depth here. I'm yeah. so out of my depth. But there you go. All right, boys, very excited for this one. It's been a hot minute since we've played a game, and it's a brand new game. The year 2023, we've got some new games in store. We've got some old games with a little bit of a, bit of a twist going on. Ooh. Well, you're good. We've worked <laughs> out the rules. <laughs> yeah, and we've planned. We're going to be a bit, more, a bit more professional about how we run some of these games. Less shooting from the hip. Watch this go terribly, and then we'll have to <laughs> apologize afterwards. But, yes, 2023. We've got some new segments, we've got some new games, we've got some new stings. It's very exciting. This game is, of course, called Best Bro. If you're enjoying this week's episode of the podcast, the best thing that you can do to show us a little bit of support is to share it with your mates. Whether it's a a story on Instagram, a private message to a pal. A DM. 
slide into those DMs, do whatever you need be. Or even just like message your mum and be like, these guys, they swear a lot, but like... I prefer Gmail as they, well. They Gmail mean, yeah, Gmail is good. Gmail is good. It's slow. Like it's a very slow and formal I way. I click on any link I get. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, chuck it on your Instagram story or send it to a mate. But whatever you do, we just want to grow this little baby pack. Fantastic. And then every week you can chat about the pack with your pack. There you go. Exactly. I could be the best bro. <laughs> Are those pants your favorite pants? Since you were one, you had that mole on your back. Said you were fine, but I knew you were lying. Will I be the best bro tonight? Garlic aioli is your favorite dip. And did you laugh? Tell me where you pissed. When did you cry? Was that your favorite glow? Will I be the best bro tonight? I could be the best bro, maybe I could guess your middle name You think I'm so goddamn clever I know your favorite takeaway Long song, long yeah. song, but it's it's just so heartfelt. We gotta hit that, those minute quarters somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and we it's took some singing lessons over the break. It's a classic brother, dividends. It's a classic brothers game. It, it is. is. If you couldn't get it already by the lyrics. So this game, it's called Best Bro. Yeah. Now what it is is one of us on the panel, one of the bros, is gonna come to the other bros with three questions. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's yeah. on the uh, That's on the uh, paid video. <laughs> 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 oh, that's fun. Um <laughs> You really are the episode. best bro. <laughs> 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 that's disgusting. Um oh, okay. no, so one of the one of the brother brothers is gonna join us and then oh fuck me. He's got three <laughs> yeah, things Jake. on okay. the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> he's got three things and he's basically gonna ask us like well something about himself and the other two brothers on this occasion it's Jake and Riley Whoa. have to decide what the answers to these questions are. They're personal questions, the answers that Joe holds. Yep. We're basically just going to work out who is the best bro. Who knows the brothers the best? It'll who tell you guys a little bit about us from our childhood days and it'll yep. test if we are good brothers. Correct. So play them. along at home. We urge you to play along at home and be a brother mingo. Here we go. Yes. Joe, kick it off, mate. All right, let's go. Let's go with an easy one first. Okay. Right? What were the name of my two budgies? Okay, that's a fantastic start. It's going to be tough for the people at home them. to play. Okay, I've got one. I've got him, ease. <laughs> um, we're just going to have a little bit of thinking time. Yep. I, I've got one. Talk us through it, Joe. How old were you when you had these birds? So I got my first budgie. Uh, I think I was in I was in pre-primary, so I would have been turning six, I think. Okay, that yeah. That was when I got my first budgie. I had him for a while. I named the first one. I named, yeah, that's the one I've got written down. I named and then him. He, he was a bluebird. <laughs> yeah. Blue and, and yellow. Lovely colours. <laughs> and then I got my second one, which was a black and yellow. And I think I got that when I was in year six, I think. That's the one I'm struggling to name. And this one was a bit crazy. So, <laughs> yeah. I, He's the one that the dog ate, isn't he? No, no, no. no. That, was, that was the first <laughs> pet I ever owned. So the first one... <laughs> yeah, that was the one that was eaten by. The, well, not actually eaten. So, Chase. Jo- Jo-, wait, wait, wait. Should we? Let's give some names first so we can tell these stories. Okay, I okay. You go first. Who have you got? All right. Obviously, the blue and yellow bird. The first bird. Classic. Jake named it. Joey. 
Yeah. Original. The titular name. So yeah. silly to name it. You can't go wrong. We've Joe. got video footage of mum with like the cam or oh, dad with the camcorder yeah. and I'm standing there and I'm like, Joe, look, it's your bird, Joey. And mum's like, why the fuck would you call it Joey? I'm like, because that's his name. Yeah. It is cool because it's like a Tit- little version of it. yeah. yeah. That the dog killed. Um, <laughs> and then the other bird. What's the other bird's name? Black and yellow bird is oh, obviously oh, called. I'm going to say like hawk. Andy. 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 Yep, it was a girl named Andy. We didn't realize it was a girl or something. I, don't know. <laughs> I can't remember why I called Andy. I, I think I, it was after Andy Hamish, Lee. Yeah, Hamish and Andy, yeah. Seriously? I just remember being called Andy. I don't remember deciding. I don't remember that. Yeah. And right. Riley um, oh, okay. Riley let that one out of the house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Talk us through how the, do- the birds died. First just quickly. One. Yeah, yeah. First one was pretty grim. Hey, um, just relive some of the saddest moments of your childhood. All right, sure. <laughs> um, Hope you guys laugh. <laughs> uh, so basically, so so basically, the first bird, Joey, yeah, my my namesake, <laughs> was killed by Buddy. So Buddy, we talked about it, the little um, mutt that we had, <laughs> Chihuahua, who's one everyday hero on the show. Before. Yeah, and then um, so basically, we got him. Is a Jack Russell? For those who don't know. Mixed with uh, Jack Russell is a bread to uh, kill birds. <laughs> <laughs> Are they actually? Yes. They're hunting dogs. For birds. Yeah, Are they, they actually? Kill birds. Yeah, that's <laughs> what they do. It's in his freaking DNA. It's not his fault, all right? Um, and then he wasn't born that way. It's training day. I mean, in South Washington. Born. Yeah, so we, we, like, they were in a big bird cage, but we'd have the door open. So, like, because obviously we're not inhumane. So they could get out and fly around a little bit. Yeah. yeah um, house. And then, so we had Buddy. We had Buddy for about, I want to say, less than a week. Yeah, and I think it might have been first. Of course, it that early. It was, it was like first or second night. Yeah, and early. then so like we had the room that the birds were in. We had <laughs> the doors shut, <laughs> you know, obviously for safety. And we're like, we'll see how it goes. Because obviously, maybe like once he gets a bit used to the birds, he won't, Okay. you know, he won't kill them. <laughs> uh, he wasn't used to them yet. <laughs> <laughs> and basically one night, I'm not exactly sure how. Bro, so sad. I don't want to blame anyone, but mum's probably the culprit. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, Buddy was quick. He's a little chihuahua. Very quick, Jack Russell, yeah. like, quick, and Joey was not. But he didn't have, <laughs> but he didn't have hops. No, like, I don't jump. know how he got up. Where did he catch it? Mid air. I don't know. It must I, have luckily, been. I didn't see. Like no one saw, it, and I've never seen him do anything like that again. Or like go I think for he got, anyone. Um, acquired a stern talking to <laughs> after that. Um, that was that's pretty sad. I yeah, but mum walked then, down. Yeah, I so remember waking up and there was a lot of tears. So basically, um, he had the bird in his mouth, and then but he wasn't like. Mum I got it out. I think he just shook the shit out of it. Yeah, and then it died. Of it basically, we like wrapped it up and we like had it warm and stuff. And then it. Um, Were you there for that? You saw all that. Yeah, yeah, and then it uh, died of shock in the night. <laughs> yeah, it went into shock and just was just like shaken for hours. Yeah. And then, but I never really blamed Buddy because yeah, it is it's in his in his nature. He didn't know what he was doing. And then we shoved it in a Colgate box and then dug it out, buried it in the garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we played a. F- I always thought about that, <laughs> like the little bird right. skeleton living in the garden. You know. Yeah. One day. Someone. There you go. Must still be there now. Well, they, they renovated. And then the second one. <laughs> they yeah. They knocked the <laughs> shit down, bro. They, they found it. Yeah. It's, it. It's somewhere. Joey's now remains somewhere in Perth. Yeah, Perth. I know. Like, yeah, top that stuff is in strange. sand. Yeah. Do you think remains last? Yeah. Bones. I think bones do. They turn to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fossils. Yeah, bones must because they put them in deep fries at KFC and they're fine. Like, they come out yeah. with bones on them. And then the second one, we were playing basketball or something out the back. Yeah, and Riley opened the door. I and this cunt door was open. quick. Oh, bro. And it right. would just do laps. <laughs> it would never sleep. It would just go into every single room, do a lap, do a lap, yeah, do so a lap. The other yeah, he was like a G. That's why I called him Hawk. Yeah, Joe, Joey would fly basically just in the room. He wouldn't venture out that much. But Andy, would just Andy was insane. <laughs> Andy used to like, you would like go into the bathroom and like, like the toilet and he would be like, you'd go to shut the door and he'd be on the... Yeah, he was on the quick, left. man. He was insane. And I don't know. It was just bad timing. He was in the laundry when Which I opened like, the I'd laundry never seen door. Him and then he just went... <laughs> her. Sorry. And then. she was gone. Yes. Forever. And then I, I never had another bird after that because I was obviously... So was the dog... Him around my the family. dog was fine. <laughs> the dog was fine with the... Oh, with yeah. Andy. Andy used to swoop the dog. Andy, oh, real? Yeah. yeah. Arrogance. Huh? Yeah, he's getting back. Revenge. I've heard of Andy. Well, like, you, no one... Was catching fucking Andy. Yeah, Andy's All right. the top G. There you go. That's yeah. great little there reminiscing. And then one Charlie died is. in the ninth. <laughs> <laughs> by a real bird. Killed by a hawk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. On to the next. So one. Riley wins that one. Yeah, Riley's, Riley's up pro. one new. I don't know how long these games are gonna go for. I don't know if we're gonna be three questions. Let's just see. If Riley, if Riley gets this one, he wins. Righto. Okay. Well, there's no point in playing the third question because yeah, it's gonna burn be a clean it. sweep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What TV show inspired? 
my special toast. <laughs> <laughs> Talk us through your special toast. Wait, no, but it then doesn't no, no, spoil no. it. So do you rem- do you, uh, do either of you remember the special toast that you said? <laughs> I could imagine. The yeah. Only, the only way this could go. Sort of. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. I'm assuming, is it butter, peanut butter and veggie one? Right? He's close. He's close. Like close, I mean, he's correct. But that's not exactly what makes it special. Is it? Am I right? It. No, I've got it. Yeah, you are right. Did you do all three of them? I don't know if it was butter. Probably. Mom made them. I was like... So you did peanut six. butter and veggie one? Yeah. That's fucked. I that think I got... If I got this right, that's huge. That's if not... Yeah, any uh, idea. Don't swear. It's, any idea it's a childhood memory. <laughs> <laughs> any idea on the TV show that inspired it? I'm going to say it's Teletubbies. It is Teletubbies. Oh, yeah. Dang. Go, oh, man. So basically... In Teletubbies. Are they I didn't vividly remember they this. They didn't do it with... the. I don't know exactly how they did it. They basically, they would have toast that would look like a smiley face. Yeah. Um, for those Teletubbies stands at home, we remember. Pause for laughter. <laughs> 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 um, and then basically mum would do it. She would make the eyes... So I usually would get two slices, right? Yeah. And one would be like the eyes would be made of Vegemite and the rest was of the face was peanut butter. And the other one was a controversial black face. <laughs> 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 Mum. <laughs> black face is a depiction of the Teletubby Utahs. With the eyes and mouth being peanut butter and the rest controversially being vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. They were all trying. Did, That's she used, did she used to put them in the... She, I think she used to put them in the... Girl. Thing funny. Didn't she have like a... I don't know. There was more to it. I don't know. Don't you like and chalk she used to away? chisel. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say she used to like chisel away at the bread so that it would, so that it would look like a face. I, have, I don't see. Know I think. Either. And let's just uh, so obviously it was a great novelty getting the smiley face um, toast. Peanut butter and Vegemite don't go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> They're like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the saltiest <laughs> shit oh with like the sweetest <laughs> thing you can put on bread yeah. at the same time. <laughs> That's cooked. Uh, That's the joy of seeing the smiley face <laughs> and of obviously the controversial <laughs> other one. <laughs> did that way, did yeah. you like it? Did you enjoy tasting it? Or I not? think I preferred the one with the <laughs> peanut butter because, like, surely mum's tasting it before she gives it to you. He's like, because <laughs> the other one's like, maybe <laughs> it's quite like salty. Yeah. And like bitter, like the most and then like to be hit with one that's not that <laughs> is like very like it's quite jarring. <laughs> but having the little bit of Vegemite in the middle is like actually <laughs> it's kind of like when you get anchovies <laughs> on your <head>. <laughs> Just <laughs> hit with you the know, salt. salt, yeah. Oh. <laughs> After you've already got that sweet palate going on, and it's a breakfast food, you don't want to be doing that too early on in the morning. Yeah. Goodness me, that's right, so really it's, it's good. One each, right? It's one each. We're actually going to the tie break. So right. you know you got a good mum if she's chiseling smiley faces. Yeah, she's face. a great mum. Yeah, there you go. That's late. But then she's poisoning you. And she killed your bird. So there's <laughs> that as well. Well, I don't know. But you definitely was <laughs> fault for the second one, <laughs> Riley. We none of us really let like. the record show. <laughs> none of us. Riley was indicated. But don't lie. Everyone preferred Joey. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> everyone yeah. was sort of. Shout away. out Andy, my boy. But like, but Joey, Joey was a day one. All right, last one. It's been a great segment. Glad we. Who was my favorite toy? Sorry, Andy. Who's his favorite toy? Yeah. How uh, at eight? What age? Oh wait, because I know you've got uh, probably like you've got one you're cranking at the moment in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, I'd say like I can't remember exactly what age I stopped. Like six, seven, and under. Do you know, Jake? Wow. This would be definitely more of a you thing. Wow. Yeah, it should be. I took it everywhere with me. Yeah. Wow. This is pretty grim. Um. It, Dad even made its own sleeping bag. Oh, yes. Classic, eh? That has helped. And then it became an amputee. Yeah. In its latter years. No. Yeah, it did. Yes, I think One I've got it. One of the dogs chewed its leg off. I don't know if I have. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. Well, let's say it at the same time. Three, say it at the same two, time. one. Ginger. Gingerbread. Yeah, the gingerbread man. That's oh, I was going to say Pussy in Boots. It is Pussy in Boots. Yeah. Oh. The Pussy Boots. Yeah, Pussy Boots. I can't puss. believe you both thought but he talked me into Gingy. It was Pussy it Boots. It was Puss. Yeah, no, that gingerbread toy, that you was could take its leg off. Yeah, that it was, was built it like was that. A feature. Oh, wow. Yeah, he yeah. had a little Puss in Boots character. We had a birthday party a for tiny the Tiny little blue bag, right? Yeah, tiny. So we had this, this like. Yeah, 
And it was so small. Puss was and like Dad made like a little <laughs> cut out a little puss. corner. It's just a little, <laughs> little puss could go. Stop yeah. saying it's just puss. a tiny little yeah. puss in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> I love taking it's that. It's just pretty, <laughs> pretty similar to the current toy he's got in his room. <laughs> 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 What's your obsession with little little pocket pusses? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, boys, it's time for our favourite weekly segment, which we didn't do last week. We chat. No, we didn't. So, if what spoken hero and Chapman himself. Yeah, Chap looked after us. Um, it's back though. The everyday hero. It's bloody back. Hell yeah. We can't do two weeks in a row without it. So it's time for our favourite weekly segment. It's our only weekly segment. It's our everyday hero. Now oh, I'm taking the floor on this one. Now this one actually took place a couple of weeks ago. Now, but it did. Yeah, it's still sitting with me. All right, it was bloody beautiful. Must be good. It was a couple of Fridays ago. Fridays at work, pretty chill. Yep. Um, now I like to go out on Friday just to grab some lunch. Now there's obviously heaps of beautiful places in Fremantle. I'm fortunate enough to yep. work in Fremantle. There's so many nice little areas you can go and get food. There's one place in particular. Hot. It goes by two sort of names. Everyone has two a quasi name. Hot bread. Oh, not familiar. Oh, aren't you? No. What's the other name that they go by? Um, Old bread. What's it called? Hot bread or people were listening. Not bread in common. No, no, no. Um, wow, that's really Toasties? annoying. No. Metros? Is it bread hot, related? Hot bread. Benny's. Or what's the what's the other thing called? This is annoying me. Uh, just, it's I, on South Street. Again, I've never heard of it. It's this. on South Street. Anyway, I was going there for lunch. They do they do bread, obviously. They do really nice bread. Hot bread. Um, and they also do these... Fi- Little Loaf Bakery. Little Loaf. You've been to Little Loaf? Yeah, Little Loaf. Little Loaf. Loaf. Yeah. yeah. So people know what is Little I, Loaf. That was... I literally... I drove... When I was taking Riley to Fours, we drove past Little Loaf. Yep. And I said, this place flat. <laughs> Actually, I think the place might be called Big Loaf. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and they've always got a sign out the front that says um, Hot Bread. So everyone just assumes the place is called Hot Bread. Yep. No, it's yeah. not. But anyway. Um, now, they do really good roast beef and gravy rolls. They're absolutely delicious. They make them fresh. They're absolutely fantastic. Gorgeous. Um, I went in there on a Friday, just order that. And it's basically the first time I'd really spoken to anyone during the day. I obviously just sit in my office at times. We're pretty, I was pretty busy. Yep. Not working with anyone at the moment. So then come out. I was like, oh, Jesus. Welcome to the real world. And just order my food and just chicks. Oh, yeah, mate. No worries. What's your name? And I was like, oh, Jake. What do you get at Little Loaf? I just told you. Um, a hot gro- roast. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Beef and gravy roll. Nice. They do them fresh. They're beautiful. Nice. Do yourself a favor. Oh, you're not, you don't do that. I don't do that. No, no, they're no. fucking elite. I was just looking up the place I was thinking about. It's called Big Life. So you guys got some competition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, it's absolutely delightful. Now, I've told the woman, name's Jake, and then I've walked away. Paid, walked away. And she just yells out, Jake, Jake. And I was literally about to make a call. And I was like, oh, yeah. And she goes, do you want any of these? And points to this whole rack, like this massive rack of cinnamon scrolls. Oh. You know what a cinema scroll is? You're familiar with a cinema scroll? Yeah, it's like a Vegemite scroll. You can't go wrong with a cinema scroll. Yeah, we all know what they are. It's like yes. a pastry. Yeah, yeah, they're delicious. They're absolutely beautiful. What I wouldn't do, Joe, in your case, is put Vegemite on them. Yep. No no need. All right? Good call. Yep. Cinema scrolls, they're delightful. Whole rack, absolutely stacked. She goes, are you going back to work or are you going home? I was like, no, I'm going back to work. She goes, mate, take some cinema scrolls back to work. Everyone will bloody love you. So she hands me the cinnamon scrolls. They're hot. They're quite literally hot. Bread. Oh, okay. They're, they're not day olders. No, they're quite literally hot bread. Yeah. She pours this beautiful like cinnamon syrup on top, For free. and I'm like, "Yeah, that's it." They're like six bucks each. There's a sign next to them saying six bucks each. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if they're packing up early or they've cooked too many yeah. or what the go is. I was stoked. So I got my roast beef gravy in one hand, got my cinnamon scrolls in the other, and I'm feeling like an absolute G, mm. an absolute G banger. <laughs> <laughs> How many um, did you get? There you are. She gave me, I think, four. That's 24, four bucks. And they're huge. They're absolutely massive. Hell yeah. There was no need for her to do it. The next person walked in um, and ordered a cinnamon scroll. Oh, chump. <laughs> and Order a roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they just do these for me. He just on. ordered one. I found this really funny. So I'm like on my way out and then I heard him say this. Did you I think about leaving. giving him one? No, because he ordered it. He yeah, goes, oh, I just, I just want a cinnamon different. scroll. And she, he goes, mate, we'll do a two for one. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I got none. I got, I got four for none. He got two for one. Like <laughs> it was carnage. But anyway, <laughs> so she, good. but it was the bloke that was talking to him. But the lady yeah. looked after me. It was super nice. Do um, you think she gem. secretly knew that those uh, six cinnamon scrolls were, or those five cinnamon scrolls four. that were given away, <laughs> one to the extra guy? Oh, okay. Would it be the equivalent of one uh, highly coveted? Podcast ad? No, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. 
That lives on forever for her. It does, yeah. Well, there you go. That's true. Good on him. Well, I'm happy to get paid in cinnamon scrolls. A little loaf, big yeah. loaf. I bought them back to work and everyone was pretty chipper about it. They were all pretty stoked. How much did you, you charge for that? <laughs> um, no, I <laughs> yeah, should have. Transfer. The transfer. funniest part was the train. You know where I work? Yeah. There's yeah. train tracks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They'd closed. The, the train tracks had an issue and the boom gates had gone down. So okay. You, so you so on was the it. issue a train was coming? <laughs> 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 it was like that for about an hour. And then on exit, I've uh, illegally go gone on the other side of the road. So that I could go around like through the train tracks. Everyone was doing it. It wasn't just me. Everyone oh, yeah. was oh doing it. Oh, my God. You're uh, costing the boomies. You're yeah, so I, but you have to go on the there. opposite side of the road. Because imagine one shuts here. Yeah, yeah. That's and one shuts clever there. about their yeah. placement. So everyone's just going like a little bit of illegal Z work action. That's right? Like, yeah. And it was all taking place. And everyone was doing it. It felt so cool. Yeah. It, it took ages, but we all got through. Now, the funniest part is, she so obviously, darling, gave me the cinema score. She's the hero. Oh, of course. But it did cause a bit of a hassle for myself because now I've got a <laughs> box of meat <laughs> in one hand <laughs> and four massive cinnamon scrolls in the other, and I pull back up. So I've left the free metal. I've left the cl- the free metal area that I was at. Yep. <laughs> 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 now that is going to be the smoothest you've ever seen. Almost. Uh, I've left the Fremantle establishment <laughs> past the boom gates. There's only one establishment where you have to be in order yeah. for those boom gates to work. I've left there. Doing the illegal action. Now, as I've come back, I'm like, oh, sweet. I'll just do the illegal action again. Except like the rain. The rain. The the railway (laughs) patrol guys were there. And they were yelling. Did you give them a scroll? They were. No, no. Fuck fuck them. They were yelling so much. And I'm sat there. And he goes, he come. He's like, no, he's just waving his hand at me. I was like, mate, come chat. I'm here for a good time. He comes, he's like, mate, you're not getting in there. I was like, dude, I work at the establishment. I'm wearing the shirt. I'm yeah. like, I work here. I need to get back in. He goes, no, nah, no, nah, not a chance. Um, park up the road and walk. And I was like... How is walking across the tracks uh, better than... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so I parked. And so now I've got a massive pile of meat and a massive thing of cinnamon scrolls. Yeah. And it's about 37 degrees and I've walked for about 800 meters with both of them. <laughs> As a result... The hot scrolls. The meat's gone very cold. The cinnamon scrolls are melting. Absolute treat. I make my way back in there looking like an absolute G-banger. Um, but the biggest question from everyone was why did this girl give me cinnamon scrolls? And they didn't. They couldn't believe the luck that I had walked into. There you go. Nor could they believe the disappointed unluckiness followed by the man six seconds who ordered after me. Yes. <laughs> He's wa- watched me walk out with four free cinnies and he's gone on the one for two. And did you give him, were you able to give him away? Yeah, I cut them all up. Yeah, kind of up for the team. I'm yeah. not eating four cinnamon scrolls. You go into a coma if you eat that much sugar, wouldn't you? No, I just think, you know, sometimes like someone will bring something in and... Oh, what? And not share it? No, no. And then they're yeah. like, oh, like share it. And then you're like, oh, I don't want that. Mum yeah. asked me, because after all that happens, she goes, why don't you just leave them in the car? <laughs> <laughs> the cinnamon scrolls would have just rebaked themselves <laughs> into the weirdest yeah. hot syrup in this hot, hot car. Anyway, the lady from Bread... Hot bread, hot bread slash little loaf. Nice is this week's everyday hero for not being a not being a sting to you. With yeah, to <laughs> you. <laughs> still two for one. Still two for one's good, but f- four, four for none's even better. I must have accidentally made a batch. Or something. Don't give me that. She just really enjoyed. Yeah, the, she, yeah, she knew about the podcast. You're local. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. That brings us to the end of another episode of. The Mac Pack Podcast. Been an absolute pleasure to sit next to the two of you, Muppets. Once again. I hear we got a special episode next week, Jack. We do. That's the plan anyway. We sat down. We're fortunate enough to sit down with Jared from Body Magic, who yes. runs Potty, Potty Magic. Magic. Wow. Um, we went back to the den. That was pretty pretty unsensible of us, wasn't <laughs> it? Um, <laughs> back to the gym <laughs> that you guys threw up in and worked out and lost weight in. Yeah. We'll mention <laughs> <every year ago. laughs> We'll mention what happens on next week's episode. Yes. Prior. So basically, we sat down with him for his um, pod yep. and we're going to be releasing that episode next week. We'll do a little bit in, of a... In our feed. I've always wanted to say that. There you go. It'll be in our feed as well. Um, we will do a little <laughs> bit of a chat about it before it gets sent. Before, before it starts next week, we'll do a bit of an intro yep. for it. And give you the goss there, we won't. Don't worry, we went through in the deep end. <laughs> 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 Who is this guy? <laughs> simpletons. <laughs> we'll explain why. A uh, but yeah, we'll chat about that next week. There's a few stories that took place beforehand. There's a few stories that took place after mm-hmm. that we'll make mention too. But yeah, Jared's an absolute G. Um, what else we got going on? That's it. We've got a few guests lined up now, which is pretty exciting. Yep. yep. 
but it's good to just sit down. Yes, have, we do, yes. Have a good yarn with you two mugs. And play some games. We'll play some games. We've got some brand new games. Hope you enjoyed this game. If you are listening, it's very, very important that you let us know that you're liking the show because our feelings can get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> our feelings can get really hurt. Uh, but yeah, if you leave, five, there's been like a handful of people recently who have left a lot of good comments on the old Apple, not the Apple podcast. What do you call it? Spotify, Spotify, dropping yeah. five stars on Spotify, which we absolutely love. So if you haven't already done that, please do that. And send a DM to us. We love reading about if you're liking the show and you can't leave a comment on Spotify. Yeah. So just ping us a message. We'll have a yeah, quick little God. quick little <laughs> yarn and we'll chat about your review on the pod. And I just want to give a big shout out. We got a big comment. We got a comment from our the latest post we did about Cooper Chapman. We, we did. We noticed. We clicked on one of the comments, you know, and we noticed. What was the gentleman's name? Jonathan Steele. And in his little oh, display man. photo, what was he wearing? None other than the MacPack Baby Blue Box tag. Oh. Exactly. He was wearing it. Oh, he's a man. G. Absolute G. So shout out to him. Thank a true you. fan, yeah. And he's already listening to the app. It's only been out for what, 48 hours. Yeah, no, yeah. What he's a G. He's listening to this right now. What a king. We love that. We absolutely love that. Love we do works. have a handful of merch. We actually sold out of heaps of stuff when we went to Seasons. Right. But we do have a handful of stuff. We need to update our stock on the website. Don't buy any sweaters because they sell yeah. out. <laughs> Please don't buy any You're sweaters. Yeah. Don't buy them. Um, but the shirts are available. We'll check them on you. We've got a handful of... Ha- <laughs> when I say the shirts are available, there's like three extra small shirts. We need to get some more stock. That's what we're saying. Yeah, if you want to look big in the gym, get the extra small stuff. There you go. And, oh, extra small shirts work really well as like a crop top. I know a lot of girls have been mentioning yeah, crop yeah. tops. It's like a baby. A baby top, I think you guys can like, that's what they call it. There you go. There's a lot. Heard it here first. Boys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Until we do this this time next week, stay safe, stay blessed, and always remember to... Go give your mum a hug. It's chuffing out, but not forever.